Hey y'all, it's Kaylee. And Qua. And today we are gonna show you how to build an H-brace. In fact, this one. So before we begin, here is a list of what you'll need. You might wanna take a screenshot of this, so we'll leave it up for a bit. Got it? Okay. An H-brace is the backbone for your fence, so it's important to begin by digging your holes at least three to four feet deep to counter the amount of force that will try to pull those posts out of the ground. If you're installing in an area like here in Central Texas where you've got bedrock, trust me, you'll need a rock breaker. Once you've got the hole dug, drop your first post in and make sure it's nice and level. Build up around it with a little rock or gravel if needed to keep it in place before filling the hole. Now if it's too difficult to dig close to four feet, you can dig two and a half feet instead and fill it with concrete. It's best to try to get about six inches worth of concrete around the post. Check once again to make sure it's nice and level and repeat the process for your second post. Use the horizontal brace post to measure the distance. Cheat the hole a little closer because you could always trim the brace post. If you've used concrete, you'll need to wait 24 hours for it to set. Hey y'all, it's been 24 hours. We got a little bit of rain overnight. That's good because it's gonna help set the concrete. And it's time now to go ahead and finish building the H brace. It's time to install the horizontal brace post. Start by drilling three eighth inch holes in the vertical post about four to six inches from the top. Have a buddy pick up the horizontal brace post and go ahead and hammer it into place with 10 inch nails. Now it's time to install your staples and brace wire. Assuming your H brace is on a corner, it's important to run your wire diagonally with the higher side towards the fence. You'll want your staples four to six inches from the top or bottom, respectively. With so much force pulling away from your H brace, this will add one extra level of counter force to anchor your fence. We typically like to add a couple additional staples to each post for good measure before tightening the wire with an inline strainer. You can find these for around three bucks. And trust us, you'll want a strainer handle as well if you go this route. Once you've tightened the wire, your H brace is complete. Did you know that the word Texas or Tejas means friendship? In fact, it's our state motto. And in honor of that, we typically like to finish our H braces with a time honored ranching tradition of adding an extra staple on each post. It's a friendly gesture since you never know when that might come in hand for you or your neighbor. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, follow, and subscribe. We look forward to seeing y'all next time back here at the Ranchito.